after here on Volcanoes TV, we are recapping what was a very close win against the Eugene Emeralds. The Volcanoes take game one of this three game set, three to two. It was a good pitching performance for Mike Conley. He went six strong innings. Then Corey Taylor knocks down the seventh and the eighth innings. But in the ninth, it got hairy. There were men on the corners with one out. And then Blake Headley hit a ground ball towards third. This kind of junior was able to somehow get the ball towards second to make a double play. How he got it there, we're not exactly sure. Listen in as we talk with Jose and Junior Amion on that wild game ending double play. All right, guys, gotta talk about the last play. You both were involved in it. Jose, you go for the ball, it bounces off your glove. Junior, it finds you and you're able to turn, touch the bag, turn, then make the play the first in time. Take me through the play in your perspective. Jose, first from your eyes. We kind of, I saw him in the corner of my eye jogging, so I just kind of hit it to him. Uh, it was all designed. Um, we talked about it before the inning because that guy, you know, you know, we, we've seen, we've looked at some videos and he's done that before. And so I just kind of hit it on the ground right to him. He had his hand out and I saw it. So he caught it and returned to play. So. All right, Amy, on your side of the story. My side of the story, I'm just running to the bag because I see a hard ball. So, you know, right, right. The field, I just see a ball bounce at me. So I just touch the bag and throw it to first base and then the guy was out. Have you guys been a part of a double play like that to end the ball game in a big situation to you now two games above the Emeralds? That's a big play in the game in the ninth inning. Yeah, I mean, you just kind of want the ball, and in that, that position, you know, I saw the ball go up, and I was all over it, and like I said, just, you know, swagged it out and deflected it to him. Both of you guys each got on base three times today. Uh, Jose, we'll start with you first. Anything extra special going on today or just another game at the park? Yeah, um, just, you know, coming off the All-Star game, I, I was pretty amped up to come back and play with the, uh, the Salem Volcanoes and, uh, you know, just wanted to hit the ball hard and did that a few times, got on base a few times. Um, and, yeah, I was happy, you know, we got a win and we played good defense and Conley pitched well, Corey pitched well, and Caleb closed well. So just pumped to get a W and if we're two games ahead of them, that's even better. And Junior, you had two singles and a double in your first three at-bats. Having production like that from the nine spot of the order is really huge in turning over the lineup. Talk about being back there and getting on base to set up the rest of the order. Uh, well, to be honest, it's just the, hit, the balls are falling now. A lot of balls that I hit early in the season were just out, and now they're finding their way right over the guy's head. You know, ground balls went through, through doubles, so just everything's falling. So what a play and what a game. The victory improves Salem Kaiser to 6-2 and two on the season. They are now two games ahead of both Hillsboro and Eugene for the second half division race. We'll be back here tomorrow night at PK Park. First pitch is at 7.05. Pre-game show at 6.35 as the Volcanoes are trying to take the series once again here at PK Park. I'm Jamie Daphner. Thank you for watching Volcanoes TV.